Yeah, you should come and help me carry them. Okay, what are you doing? Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Should I carry my second jacket? This could not catch me on. Okay, it's heavy. Okay, let's just carry one more. Okay guys, so I have checked in, although I checked in at home yesterday, but basically I'm done with all the immigration process and stuff. And let me just tell you guys that see my problem with airports is still my problem with airports, okay? This is my first time using Porta Cod International Airport. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but anyway, this is my first time using um, the Porta Cod International Airport. And it's very clean, very nice, no crowd, just very chill, very you can't even you won't even believe that anything is happening here. It looks so empty and so chill. Um like the flights, well people that are waiting for the flights while well, we look we're not that many, but I understand that is because you know we're going to Abuja first to pick more passengers before we now continue on our journey. So I'm not expecting to see many people here, but the airport is very, very nice. Okay, like it's nice and it's just chill and quiet. However, every corner they are asking for money. Every when I say every corner, I mean every single corner. Like at some point, I was even what's, what's happening. First of all, they even have too many stops. I don't know if it is that. You know things that one person is supposed to do 10 people are doing it i don't get like you know i see too many stops like i think i stopped like 15 times before i got here you stop at this table stop at that table ordinary immigration i had to stop at four different tables like i don't even understand and i passed that one you know passed came here still had to stop at four different tables like this one will stop here and ask me where you're coming from where you're going to this one will stop and ah ah like it's a lot and then when they finish they're gonna be asking you uh, anything for us this one that one like there was somebody that was so persistent there i was irritated like i was so so irritated because i was like what do you want me to do i wasn't trying to explain to the guy this is my top i'm wearing a, a t-shirt inside this so i was even telling the guy that see i all my cash has finished downstairs first of all i need to have cash i can't just go travel and come back to nigeria empty-handed like no i don't work like that the guy said no i should just give you something anyway i ended up giving you something but you know i was you, I, you could tell on my face that i was mad like i was so pissed but anyway, so all in all, I've passed. I'm just waiting for um, my flight. So my flight is actually in two hours or three hours at this point. Okay, so this is six seventeen, and our flight is eight forty five. So it's going to be a long wait. It's not too long, sure, but two hours is a long time. I beg. But let me just. If I'm more than two hours now. Two hours and thirty minutes left. Anyway, but let me just chillax. Let me just you know watch something. I don't want to finish my battery, so maybe I shouldn't watch anything. Why is it that we hardly have charging ports? Okay, I've seen a charging port here. I've seen a charging port. I should I'm charging my phone. Let's have a go charge my phone now. Just sit down for ground to charge phone. Anyway, um, I want my phone to be fully charged so that I can watch different things. You guys, when I finished packing, I removed something. I removed... Maybe I'll just you guys later, Sha, but I regret removing it. I removed one soap which I don't really mind. Then I also removed one, I, I removed a pack of egusi. That's my big pack of egusi. I removed it called the spinning me. This egusi I bought 9,000 something and dried it, you know, dried it, grounded, ground it, I mean, I grinded it, dried it again, you know, just so that, ah, I'll come and give my sister egusi. Actually, I planned that when I come, I'll share the egusi between my sister and my brother. I was even planning to just cook the soup for them, cook soup for my brother and his wife, cook soup for my sister, just, you know, share it and just cook it. And I dropped it anyway. Not a spoil, at least one soup survived. So I'm going to take that one soup and just warm it and you know, share it for the two of them. But spinning me on, I cannot like spinning me. <laughs> but anyway, um, let me just chill and then later, once, once we budge, I will update you guys. Peace. Uh, 
I've just been here imagining one of these things falling on someone's head. It's like um Padu, is it Padu? That thing for boots. Anyway, that is it. But yeah, I've been imagining it here, just one of them just snapping and falling on someone's head. I'm not sure you can see the rope, but it's held up by very very tiny ropes that looks like fishing line. And fishing line, fishing line is strong though, but um, I don't know. I don't know. So, anyway, now side I did. Now, before I think go this my side, I could go wrong. <laughs> I was already sleeping where I was there, like I was already like really dozing. <laughs> I think I was dreaming at some point before they now announced um boarding. So I don't know if you guys can hear me but anyway. Yeah, we are boarding. I will go ahead and we're ready to go to Abuja. So from Abuja we will now go to Frankfurt. I'll keep you guys updated as usual. But that's it. I'm at Frankfurt and you know, going to where I'm going to flight. So you guys, I finally located my gate. So I'm just here chilling. I'm just lying down because my bones are aching me. All my bones is aching me. You guys, I walked for over, I think I'm out 30 minutes trying to locate my gate. It's not like I was missing road. Though. Nope. It's just that far away from, you know, where we landed. Because we landed around, was it not six? No, not six. We landed around 5.20 or something like that, Sha. Yeah running around past five but i did not locate my gate till six something mind you i entered train you know, entered escalator up and down trek 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 like it's so far i was even telling myself if i had walked in the direction of canada I wouldn't i have reached <laughs> by now i would have gone halfway because the journey was so far i was like i could just check map say, okay which way to canada let me walk that direction then wherever i stop i'll now enter another, another plane or something because it was just too far but anyway um yeah so i'm just here chilling now and i'm kind of hungry but i don't even know i've not tried my card yet. i just got a new card well, i got two new cards like i renewed one and then i got a new brand new card from a brand new bank well from a, from a different bank right now the card i renewed i gave it to my husband because he also travels the one that is brand new is one i'm with i don't know if it's working i can actually try it and see if it works but i'm not even in the mood after i've been walking walk see how fun after i've been walking walk i'm not in the mood but i'm hungry my gate is just here or if because my flight is by 10 35 i think we'll start boarding by 9 something if by let's say it's 30 i'm still hungry i might just go and get food but for me it's like there's no point since they still give us food in the plane even I don't like that plain food, but it's my good job now. You know, like, yeah, it's my good job. But anyway, let me just be chilling first and see how things go. If I decide to get something, I've been smelling coffee since and it has been entering my, my nose. But if I decide to get something, I'll let you guys in on it. I'll tell you guys, okay? Anyway, the weather is quite cool though. I'm supposed to be wearing these jackets, but I'm just using it as pillow. Because weather is cold actually. I'm actually cold in here, but. Yeah, I'm good.
guys. <sighs> okay, so you guys, finally, I feel like I've lost my voice. <laughs> oh, I've been using the code that is restricting my. Or maybe because I've not talked in almost 24 hours. Like, I've not talked normally. I don't know. Well, anyway, and my ears are kind of blocked. But anyway, yeah, I am here. Finally. Hey guys, this has been a long time coming. I can't, I can't even explain. It was so long, I was tired. Like my waist was paining me, my legs were paining me. See, so yeah, next time I'm traveling like this, business class, I beg. Business class. Now I get it. I get it because almost my feet. In fact, one leg is almost. I don't know. I just exercise that leg very well before I'll be able to feel normal with that leg it's not funny job but anyway i'm glad i'm here this is more than 24 hours since i left the house i left the house by four o'clock yesterday and right now in nigeria it's almost nine o'clock 9 p.m so more than 24 hours but yeah i'm here coming to see my sister-in-law my sister-in-law is coming to pick me coming to see her um i think she's here already anyway but yeah so i'm going with her um, what's happening here? Let me just. I wonder what all these things represent. Just use map and check the direction of my brother's house. <laughs> I start walking that way eh? instead of doing sightseeing inside airport. The tonton is too much. It's not as cold as I thought, though, because I'm still inside the airport. Yeah. But it's not as cold as I thought. Well, of course, I'm walking fast. I know it's cold, though, but it's not as cold as I thought. It's not like the kind of cold that hits me in the Netherlands. I'm yet to feel that kind of cold. I'm sure I will feel it at some point here, but. The one that hit me, I can't cover from that one. But this one, I'm like, nah, because in Frankfurt, Frankfurt was quite cold as well. So, anyway, <sighs> my chest is spinning me. Let me just be going a bit. Okay, that's one of my bags. You guys, it's been it's been a long time coming, but I'm out now. Anyway, my bags are here. And my sister is home. Hi, say hi. Oh my, you guys are finally here. I can't believe this. I thank the Lord. <laughs> Okay, so if we get the cab, they will come here. Mm -hmm. 